What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Company of Heroes 1 Let's Play. And to pick up where we left off, we had just captured Karantan. Now our job is to hold it in the face of a German attack, so let's crack on. Um, I'm going to try to get the star in this one, because I I I've, I've done it before and I know I can do it. Um, I just need to not be um, stupid part of the, uh, the, the mission. And it's quite a fun mission, as, as missions go. Um, if you're a big fan of coming heroes and you you like uh, you know sending people down choke points and things like that, it's it's good fun. But let's crack on. Assume that's grape juice, Sergeant. Absolutely, sir. Grape juice. Well, it was grape juice about a year ago. <laughs> the 17th SS Panzer Division is mobilizing to retake Carantan. We just have one job to do here hold the town. They need the bridges, we have to defend them. MG emplacements, mines, and wire obstacles at these points will hold off the Krauts for a while. We have a couple of 57mm AT guns to cover the approaches into the town. We'll need to keep them safe. Engineers have established a field barracks at the town hall and the church. We can call in reinforcements from these locations at any time. Strategic points have been spotted across the river at these positions. Capture them. The Jerry's will want Carantan back, so let's dig in and make them pay for it. Okay, everyone, let's hit the ground running. So, Airborne. in this mission, I need to do a bit right of um, micro. Because what you don't want to do in this Airborne. mission is rapidly move everyone forward, as tempting as it may be. Sniper. See them quiet out here. Watch for snipers. Okay, move up. Yes, sir. So, says watch for snipers. Uh, give you a handful of dollars to find out what's up here. So, preemptively fire up. I could well have run up. I could well have uh, preemptively fired up too quickly. Let's move them up to the north. Two, one, zero. Enemy unit down. Satchel down. Let's keep the paras moving up. Don't want to move up the uh, reinforcing elements yet until my paras clear the town. Let's take this unit, left, and let's get them grenading the hell out of the Germans. Enemy unit down. Got him, so move in. Well, to be honest, both of them need to fall back, but they've cleared it, that's the important thing. Sweet, eight minutes. Ignore them for now. Uh, engineers. Manpower's going to be the bottleneck. Um, we've got a complete. Nope, can't build no P. Let's bring them back. Let them defend for now. Okay, let's get the mortars up. We're supposed to get all these guys, move them to the main point. You pick up that flak piece. Up, 
Speed, get you back, get that done, get that done. Let's move the jeep up. Okay, so let's get you ready. Let's put our mine down. You guys ready? Good, you guys all move up. You move over to here. I've usually found one one para unit is is reasonable to hold each flank. As long as they've got recordless rifles, so fill in the gaps. So it's hunker and more down a medium cover. Sniper, let's put my sniper in, in a building to harass. Let's fortify this wall. Get this unit of paras out to the right. Basically just move everyone up as much as they can. Infantry reserves en route. Reinforcement proceeding. Engineers, saddle up! Ah, uh, Mr. Come back here and garrison this 50 caliber. No, this um, 57 millimeter. I do have lots of AT on the field, but I'd rather have more. It's then my engineers, their job. Well, firstly, that's. Look alive, paratroopers! Airborne squad ready to go. There you go, because once we've got this set up. Look alive, paratroopers. That area more or less looks after itself. Um, but you need to put mines down and things like that. Because if we're going for the trophy, it's um, 300 casualties. To be honest, I could still do with having that. It's a line of sandbags to provide hard cover for my machine gun. Let's get this thing up here. Positioned with a good spread to be able to hit all of that cover. Cool, they're already, they're already, they're already. Five minutes, so you get there. Listen up, Airborne. Look alive, Paratroopers. Just give me a red white gun and point me at the bad guys. So let's do. Mm. To be honest, I've got the front quite well covered, so I'm going to do things like this. And then with the with the remaining paras, just drop down mines pretty much everywhere. Um, doesn't need to be a lot. Cool, they're all ready to rock and roll for the next group to show up. Get my paras to drop down this. Put some hustle into it. Look alive, paratroopers! Airborne here. On my ass and stay there. Reinforcement underway. Do you want to just make them reinforce? Yeah, right now, just. So I got. So I want to save up really for off-map artillery. That's what I should have done. So I need four. I need uh, 300 casualties, which is a fair amount. And ultimately, you need to have some units of paras um, in cover. Well, you know, ready to form a, uh, a second line of defense. Because at some point I'm going to have to call it and fall back from my positions. Construction 
enough for army work. Time. We're on building detail. Mines are a very Let's good way. There we go. So got that set up. Let's build a Let's build another machine gun. Suppose I fall back from there, I can fall back at least to another prepared position. And hope my sniper can do some absolute business. I'm, I'm going to resist the temptation to give my engineers flamethrowers because I've got a feeling I'm probably going to want um, more artillery strikes. I would put my sniper in that building, but I think uh, I think I'd rather have him here with a bit more, a bit more, uh, a bit more. Uh, ooh, one thing I didn't do, what well, I did do there, but quickly before the things happen. It's a good job to drop a mine down there, because there's usually some sort of tank that comes through there. It's tempting once these guys have finished to make finish making this uh, mine to garrison that MG to pick up that MG. And I think I will. Cause I've still got one unit of one unit of engineers to build another machine gun position. Put the MG42 over here to support this flank. Well, to be honest, in the centre, get as wide a field of fire as possible. Cool. Two, I can call an off-map artillery. It's 150, 150 um, points, but so I'm not going to be able to call in that many. Well, to be honest, once I start calling them in, it's not going to really matter. Listen up, airborne. Detail. Our work is done here. Mm. Here comes the cutscene. I love it when I build stuff that interferes with the cutscenes. <laughs> So we don't have as many. What do you see? Hmm? I got movement on the edge of town. I don't have as many anti-tank guns as I'd like, but I've got pairs with recordless rifles, so should be more than adequate. That they don't I don't think this map generally has much more in um much more um well yeah, stugs are about as difficult as it gets. I would like to have laid more mines in the killing field, but you know. Got a fair few machine guns, which should be so, which should be enough to uh, suppress the hell out of their infantry. And I've got loads of AT rifles to take out the Stugs. That's why that's all I'm going. Keep doing things like that. Water crews. No, I'm gonna hold on to artillery for now. Because right now they're quite comprehensively pinned. There you 
go rounds on target onto the stoke. Target my mines, get my paras over here, back behind cover. Get these guys back behind cover. As I start falling back, um, there you go. So got these powers over here. So just sling a satchel charge and keep them on the move because they will mortar the hell out of me. Whoop. Too late, but maybe I might be able to uh, destroy the main gun, which is good enough. Back to this position. So they've flanked my... I don't know, they've not flanked anyone. Get my engineer up here to repair that machine gun position. Focus fire those... that engineer for sure. Can't counter battery fire, so there it is. Sweet snipers now getting op getting a chance to open fire. Power back. I want to take out that machine gun if I can. Bring them up into the front. Throw out a pineapple. Bring them back. Reshift my airborne crew. Get the powers back. Okay, let's get some people over on the left. Infantry reserves en route. Enemy reinforcement proceeding. Key with the mines. Unfortunately, I haven't got an anti-tank team over there. Uh, bring Paris back up. Reinforce. Reinforce. Nope. I think now's time to just bug out with not as many casualties as I would have liked. Meh. This is never a, uh, a mission for me to uh, get all the casualties in one go because. <laughs> We know it's got the casualties in one go to get all the medals. It's not what I'm about. Okay, so I've got the running out of manpower for reinforcements for Paris. Sniper ready for orders. Germans are seizing territory from us. Count hole within range! 
Uh -oh. Hold back. We'll pull back a bit. See now is where the mines start to come into play. Oh wow. No, stay in actually. They definitely need to drop on my. Oh, no, got a mine down there. Good. So let's put you in that building. Let's put you in that building. Ah, they're all re right. Bring everyone back. Let them have movement. Get my sniper in the church. Machine gun team in the church as well. And then select we So let's pick you to man that. T no, no. Your double vet squad. You man that weapon. Basically, I just want to uh, fortify the town. Infantry reserves en route. Reinforcement proceeding. What are my coordinates? Just build lots of cover to sit behind. Just drop down there. Ultimately, just let them shell the hell out of my town. Let's put a big pressure on now, but I don't think I'm going to get the medal, but that's fine. I'm enjoying myself. If you're interested in a completionist guide, there are lots of very, very, very good people who are very good at this game and know what they're doing. I am not one of them. <laughs> so, not Airborne. Jerry, don't mind us dropping in. They're hitting one of our forward emplacements, trying to take our territory. Airborne here. Airborne. Oh, Jerry, We're don't mind here. us dropping in. Airborne. We're done building here. Oh, Jerry, don't mind us Airborne. dropping Airborne. in. Oh, Jerry, don't Airborne mind us dropping in. Airborne replacements are ready to drop. Airborne here. Mind your space. Let's bring everyone Airborne. back Airborne. behind Airborne. cover. Time to get out and teach Jerry a lesson. Hmm. May as well give my engineers flamers now, because I'm. Yeah. Got to the point where I've got lots of munitions. Your order, sir. Crowds are pounding on a forward emplacement. We got a We're losing ground out there. Mm. Let's gamble and see if they stay where they are. Oh, that would have been such a juicier target. Our is being taken by the enemy. Let them. Just do a bit of digging in. Maybe I should be a bit uh, more offensive right now, but I'm okay with it. Enemy unit down. Like I should have got, I should have been knocking on 200 odd kills in that corner if I'd been doing it right. And this guy's falling back for some reason. There we go. There we go. First bad guy. Okay, 
you can see it should be about now that then you, you pull all these defences back. So I've made a bit of a hash of it, but that's what happens. Pretty sure when they oh they've run down the they've, okay so I'm gonna send these guys to go have a look over here because there could be a damaged stug. Usually it's a stug that rams down this gate. Oh no, must have been the artillery. Maybe it was that stug. It drove no no I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's a stug. We have a secured sector under attack. Whoa! Not all of you. Hopefully they drop a bunch of tasty grenadiers to be pounded. Ah, have AP. There we go. Pound the stug. Send these guys on. Yeah, they'll get a bit suppressed by these guys will get a bit suppressed, but these guys at the rear have got plenty of Panzer Shreks. It's fallen back. Maybe as we call in some artillery. Comes Able Company. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Look at that.
sneak him out. Okay, so where's my... Time to make a... Oh man, there's another one! Oh, there's even more! Come Able Company. Let's blob up. Oh, actually, I'm not even pressing the right button. That, 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 that. You... You're in good nick, you're in good nick. You are also in good nick. Let's move up. Give her some gas, tiny. Should be enough for popping him. Enemy unit down. Chasing down. Let's take out that last stug. Trying to flee across the bridge. Ah. The end of the German counter attack. Ooh, is it a cutscene? Hey, looks like Able Company's finally arrived. It's about time, fellas. We started to think maybe you boys got lost. Yeah, well, we got a little hung up on the beach. Looks like the last of Able Company is all here. Baker and Dog Companies are about an hour. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Unfortunately, didn't get the Bronze Star, but there's plenty of uh, guides online to help you find out how to do that. But that's the end of this mission. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.